Hello there and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the Little Red Devil Damsel Bug. So we use UTC 70 thread. I'm just going to take a neat head. It's about halfway back up we're going to tie in some eyes. So the eyes we're going to use is red chain bead eyes. These can be bought home base or B&Q. A couple of pound will get you a meter. So I'm just going to take some trace cutters, pliers, anything you've got and cut off two of the eyes. Once we've got them cut you want to tie them in at the front but not right at the front. This is very important that you leave plenty of space. So the way I like to do it is take four or five turns one way, hold the eyes back, four or five turns the opposite side. You can do this in a figure of eight, but I find this way holds the eyes the tightest. Once we do this, thread down till you're pretty much in line with the barb. At this point, we want to take some fluorescent green mallard. This, and I like the I get these from finnysflies.com. Um, you want sort of six to eight fibers. The length of the shank. A wee bit longer, it doesn't really matter. Catch them in, just two loose turns. Then we want to use some gold wire. So we want to cut sort of two two inch gold wire. Loose turn to catch them. Then bring this up towards the red eyes. Before you bring them right up, just trim your mallard. This will make things easier and tighter as we go on. So bring that up. Then bring it down and on the way back up, nice tight turns to keep everything reasonably tidy. So bring your thread back about a millimetre and we'll get some grizzle saddle. Just one of the smaller, thinner feathers at the bottom. So whenever you test this, if you bend the feather and the fibre should be roughly close to the width of the shank of the hook or shank and a half just you'll just know sort of by looking at it so tie in that three or four nice tight turns you'll know when you're tight enough because the the tag of the feather will actually bend up so take this make sure the fibers are getting pulled back we don't want this going like a dry fly sort of haggle which it's going like not to worry about this, you want sort of four to five turns down. Then we'll take the wire, cross the wire over the feather, put it reasonably tight, and four to five turns of the wire going back up. We'll catch the wire in just behind the eyes, two loose turns, two tight turns, and pull the wire just to break it off. It's not breaking. So there we go. You can break this off as well. Next up, we want to use a black. This is just a normal cock haggle. Again, just slightly bigger or roughly the same size as the grizzle saddle. Catch this in. A couple of turns. Cut the tag off. Same again, once you see it sort of bending up, you know you're putting enough pressure. Again, try and pull them back. And you want maybe two, three wraps of this. So I'm going to go three. Catch it in. You don't want to put too much in now that it overpowers the grizzle. Now you can tie this in with some legs but I haven't bothered this time because it's they're a bit of a pain in the backside sometimes trying to make the wee legs out of the pheasant tail. 
Next up, we want to take a bit of straggle fritz. This is beautiful blue, purpley, black colour. I got this from William Rowlands from the Strike Fly Fishing Club. Check that Strike Fly Fishing Club out on Facebook. A few good lads there, William Rowlands, Davy Williamson, and Sunkerman. So sort of two mils back. Maybe four to five turns, straggle fritz. Catch that in. Loose turn, a couple of tighter turns. That way, you know, it's definitely in and your fly will last much longer. So once we've got that done, try and pull stuff back, go in front of the eye, lay down a base up to the eye, and back. Then about halfway up, you want to take two goose bats, red. This is really where the red devil got his name. Two goose bats. Try and separate them slightly. Once you've separated them, hold them down with your finger. Loose turn. Sort of at the front. Let them go up in the air. If you hold your thread tightish, these will break off. So we want to tie this back in. And now we're nearly finished. All we want to do is a whip finish. Three to four turns. Cut your scissors. Cut your thread, should I say. Take a bit of varnish. And just a bit of varnish on the head. Not too much. Just this will keep your fly stronger for longer. I've got this done. I just want to clear the eye out. I just use a bit of old feather, anything you've got sitting about. Part it back. And pull the feather through. I will clear that out nicely. So there we go. The little red devil. Don't forget to check out the Strike Fly Fishing Club for more great videos and a great bit of crack on Facebook. I'm just going to take this out and show you the front of them. You see the wee horns. I will see a couple of wee horns. Hope you've enjoyed this video and leave some comments and let me know how you get on. Until next time, see you later.